here. So like, where's your relationship though with with uh, Hassan? Hassan? Yeah. Uh, I ran into my TwitchCon. And how was that? I was like, yo, what's up? And he was like, yo, what's up? He's like, how you got in here? I was like, what do you mean? He was like, you're banned. He's like, bro, you better get out of here before you get like even more banned. And I was like, you know, I'm spoiling the video. You guys have seen it. Oh, wow. So, so like he threatened to snitch on you. Nah, nah, nah. He wasn't But what was, the, what was the vibe? Did it feel like he actually wanted you to get the fuck out? Or do you think it was like I mean, if advice? he did, like I wouldn't have left. But like. You know, I didn't feel pressed by but him. But so the first time that you guys had any kind of conflict was because you did the most racist town in America video, and then he felt like you were kind of minimizing r racism? Or Nah, so where actually where it first started was because I want to, um, I actually wanted to be on the KSI undercard. So, right, you were talking about boxing for a while, yeah. And I was trying to think of an opponent that would be great, and I was like, you know what, I got to fight someone that's on Twitch. He would be a great And then, yeah. you know, I didn't want to fight someone that's like, you know, 150 soaking wet like you know that would be I want to challenge yeah. so I was like the only person on Twitch that I can think of that's a big body is Hassan so I was like <laughs> let me hit up Hassan you see, I, you see I just yeah said. yeah that's good yeah. and so I hit him up I'm like yo want a box I did he just he was just like no and I was like, <laughs> yeah cause he's just became a fucking millionaire over the last couple of years from talking in a chair I mean I wouldn't want a box either. Shit, I wouldn't either. It's, but you still have that youthful vitality. Yeah, but he's probably pretty young too. Mm. And, <laughs> and then, um, and then the uh, the racist town video happened, and I just felt patronized. So you know, I just shared my opinions on it and everything. And then he had dropped some uh, other videos, but I never got around to watching them. And then he wanted me to like come on to debate and stuff, and I was at first, but then I was just like, oh, this is gonna turn into like a just a never ending cycle because it's just like you know, I've seen some of his stuff and like you know. Just, it just ends up being like a never ending cycle and it's just like a lot of times I just take myself out of those situations because it's just like mm. I just don't have time and then it just got to the point like I, I saw some dude in LA when I was in LA one time and he just looked like him I was like yo Hassan I ran into you and he thought it was funny and he reposted it then he followed me on Twitter I followed him on Twitter and then um, I guess you know that was that was that you know like, but wh where do you identify as being at politically because the, the, like he's basically saying that you are kind of using your black celebrity to go somewhere that is apparently racist and then kind of like minimize racism and act like racism actually isn't that big a deal which i mean and he's white yeah well is he white yeah Some sort of, right I don't know. like he's like a white a-rap right? but but do you like w yeah. how do you feel about that like do you feel like you were going out of your way to paint somewhere as not being racist when maybe it was or no, I mean, like, I'm not going out of my way. Like, mm. I just went there. I didn't experience any racism to me particularly. I talked to the other people there. Well, you were they, talking to the Klansman's assistant or whatever who, because who, you said something about, like, and, I, and you go, I've also, been here and nobody called me an N-word. He goes, well, I'll be happy to do it for you. <laughs> but he also, like, like he also doesn't live in the town. Like, well, you oh, know, he was from when, you, when, you, when you watch the video, like, you know, he doesn't, like, actually live in Zink. the town and yeah. everything like that. Mm. But, um... You know, and then I talked to the other, uh, I was about to say colored people. <laughs> I also Is talked to the other saying? people of color there. The other Negroes. And they were saying like, uh, well, I, the, the Negroes. And <laughs> yeah. I was talking to like, you know, the Hispanic people out there because uh -huh. there was actually a lot of Hispanic people out there. Gotcha. And I was talking to them and they said, no, like we actually really like it out here. And they're actually pretty progressive out there. Mm. Like, they really want to get that stigma out of there. Or when you were everything. talking to that school principal, though, I actually started to feel for him where you could tell that. The YouTube videos that were out that were calling this the most racist town actually had had a pretty. That was negative, actually the mayor. Oh, the mayor, right? Yeah, yeah. That was the mayor. Of the but town. it had had a pretty fucking negative impact on the city, and and just having that out there. And as I don't, an, and an I, idea, I, you know? I don't think it was stated in the video, but like out of all, I think it was like twenty four cars in that video that had drove by that guy whenever he had the uh, BLM sign. I think like two or three of them only only two or three of the people lived in the town really and because it's, it's really it's one of those towns where you know you pass by yeah so it's one of those pass by towns you know there's very few towns that i, I feel like you could say are like really racist like that race like it's always going to be a mix uh, you know I, I think there's still some sun uh but, sundown uh was it, was it called sunset towns or sundown towns? i just feel like even even the ones that have you know like 30 or 40 percent racist in that town would be like a very large percentage there's always going to be a big chunk but of people when you that really think about anything. it like just like you know number wise like la yeah. would be more racist than that town you know i live well, in houston houston's going to be more racist in that town just because it's bigger. more people so it just yeah. means more racist you know it's also how 
how comfortable people feel with being outward about it. Because a lot of times when you're down south, you'll see Confederate flags and shit. You're, you're very rarely going to see somebody screaming the N-word at somebody at the gas station. But, but I, feel like, see, like, I feel like little, there's two different types signs. of racism. Like I feel like we're just so used to like... I call it conservative racism, whereas like you know they have the the um, Confederate flags, right. and you know it's like you know we believe in white pride and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then I also think there's liberal racism, condescending white condes slavery complex. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I feel like liberal racism is like, in my opinion, I hate liberal racism way more than uh, conservative racism because at least conservative racism, I, I, I can see from a mile away. You're racist. You don't like me. So it's just like, I'm going to stay you. away. But like with liberal racism, it's like you you never know until you get into the conversation and it's just Very little, coy. It's, yeah, yeah, they like you, you. They just say little slick words here or there. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay, so you're about this and stuff. Yeah. But so when yeah. you're looking at something like Umar and it's like he clearly is a black guy that doesn't even think that black people should be dating outside of their own race. I can't hold it against him because if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Even though, I mean, that's pretty much like the textbook definition of racism, racist, right? Yeah. No, Umar is definitely, he, listen, you know, if a white person said the exact same thing Umar Johnson <laughs> yeah, exactly. said, flip it, they'll be Hitler. <laughs> Which right? is weird because I look <laughs> yeah. at him and I, and I genuinely feel like, okay, if that's how you feel, then, I mean, you're free to live your life that way. But you're right. If it was a white guy saying it, I don't <laughs> think my brain up. would be able to be like, oh, well. But I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe the guy's in zinc. Like, that guy, if he said that, I mean, he's being very upfront about where he stands. You're like, no, I feel like if you're a charmer, you can get away with damn near anything. Like, 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 like Milo, for a long time, he was saying some real out-of-pocket shit, but he was just a charming motherfucker, so we mm -hmm. all just loved him. Right. If, if, if the election was tomorrow, you wouldn't come out and say who you're going to vote for, would you? Oh, I'm never voting. Oh, really? I'm, I'm never voting. One way to Why? Go about it, yeah. Because, like, I, in, just in my personal opinion... I just don't think it matters. I feel like, they're, like you know, at the end of the day, I feel like it's just like, you know, Republican, Democrat. At the end of the day, they're really just the same thing. Like, when you really just boil it down, maybe just like few separate ideologies, they gas it up like, it's like, like, it's like a big movie. Like, you know, like uh, 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 Captain America Civil War? Right. Where it's like, whose side are you on? Captain mm -hmm. America or uh, Iron Man? And it's just like everybody reps their side so hard. But then, like, you get into the side you rep, and then you realize that side you're repping doesn't even really rep you. So it's just like, why why even, like, vote for that, you know? Mm -hmm. like and then, liberals. you know, everybody wants to vote for, like, the president and stuff like that when, you know, they'll never vote for their local congressmen or look mm. for their local officials and stuff like that, the stuff that can actually affect them, you know? Right. They think, you know, Joe Biden or they think, you know, Donald Trump is going to change everything. And don't get me wrong, you know, having, having someone in, uh, in the presidency is very important, but, like, you know, I would rather vote for someone, you know, my local sheriff or my local mayor or, you know, that it can actually really affect me. But, like, you know, people just, they like the glitz and glamour. Yeah. But one thing I will say about uh, uh, Trump, I feel like he brought more people to look at politics because I feel like, you know, before, like, you know, like, at least, I mean, I was 12 when it was going on. He turned but, politics into such a dumpster fire that it was hard to look away. Yeah, but, like, you know, like, you need to look at what's going on. Because I feel like, like, I, I, I don't know how it was when um, Obama went against Mitt Romney, but, like, I remember it wasn't as bad as when no. Donald Trump went against Hillary Clinton. I was just like, God damn. Like, I was no, like, yeah. and I asked my parents, I was like, was it this bad when uh, Obama went against Mitt Romney? And like, no, like, like it was just like civil, uh, civil yeah. disagreement. Whereas, like, you know, 2016 election, election, it was crazy. I, then 2020, it was even crazy. Growing up, my parents, like, hardcore Democrats, grew up like campaigning for all these candidates and everything. And then, meanwhile, they had friends who were conservatives. And mm -hmm. I have memories of a kid of going to their houses and listening to my parents have, you know, relatively friendly debates about, you know, yeah. Clinton versus George Bush, etc. And like, I was just at my uncle's funeral back in in New Hampshire, and it's just like this seems like such an ancient fucking memory because I'm hearing all these memories from some Republicans that were friends with my, my uncle and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it just, that just does not seem like something yeah, that's like, likely to happen anymore. I see, like, I be like, on, I be on TikTok all the time. And if someone figures out someone's, like, I think uh, Chris Pratt, people found out that he's a conservative but but not and even really. Their evidence for him being a conservative is so bad. He like went to a church that may have donated to some anti gay marriage. Like, like it's total him. bullshit. And then I think I think uh, what was her name? Addison Ray's like voter panel got leaked, 
and she voted for Trump. Or her boyfriend, I think. Or, or it was, was it her boyfriend something. or was it? Oh, fuck. And like she got but canceled. That's race shit is wild though. Right? It's just like yeah. damn. Like you know, if you're gonna hate somebody for like who they vote for, just like it's not like a form of racism. Like I don't know, like. It's like, bro, like, what's wrong with you? It just feels a little intense that our society has gotten to the point where we have to care about who some TikToker fucking voted for, right? All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.